just to clarify some of the step sparring that we do, um, we're going to go through them again. So three step, two step, three step advance, two step advance, just to we'll go through them quite slowly, um, just to try and make sure everyone's fresh with them and explain why we are doing the step sparring because some clubs don't do them anymore. Um, I'll explain perhaps in a text, perhaps a, a voice over, we'll see. Okay, so just remembering that the uh, there is a set attack, a set defense. The basic stuff uh, is done with three forward punches through a walking stance. Okay, we aim, tend to aim at midsection here. Okay, anywhere from the solar plexus through to the top of the sternum, I guess. Okay, um, sometimes people aim at the higher point, so to the jaw. Uh, to the bottom of the nose, that sort of area. Um, hard, still hard, but easier, bigger target. Okay, so the attack always starts in three step from a right leg going back, a low section block, and the right hand, the punching hand, coming back to the hip. Okay, so three punches going forward in walking stance. One, two, hey! three, straight down the center. Straight down the centre. Okay. The first defence is also in walking stance and goes across the body with an inner forearm block. Okay. So going back in a walking stance, hands come up in preparation. One, two, three blocks, and then straight from here, twist back slightly, pull out, pull out, and drive through back into the opponent's body. Again, in this sort of area here. We're looking for the solar plexus, really. Okay, so a little bit faster on that, on the defensive side. Time! So you see a slight body shift with the, the final return. Okay, so the second one, the, the attack is exactly the same in three. Going forward, punching, walking stance, all total commitment. I do it from the side so you can just see the sort of stuff we're looking at. Back into the defense, into the, the starting position here, the low section block. Hand ready to go, walking stance, forward, commitment, commitment, hey! Commitment, that's the way to do it. Without the commitment, it just becomes a little bit, which is really no use to learn, okay? And it is a learning process. It's a very, very, very incremental learning process. If you skip these out, like a lot of clubs are now beginning to do, I think it's like trying to learn a language without learning your ABCs. Okay, so number two, going back. We're going to go back this time in an L stance, okay? First one is in a walking stance and goes back to the right leg. And this time we're going to go to the outside, okay? So we're going to go back to our left leg, bring the hands up. L stance, but the same block. As opposed to, okay? So going back three times. One L stance, two L stance, three L stance, the rear leg, keep that arm there, okay? That is now against your opponent's arm. This is a measuring tool, if you will, okay? But also as a constant block in the way. Take the rear leg out to the side. Don't go forward too much. Definitely don't go backwards. Go out to the side. Bring this foot, your opponent's right in front of you, remember? Round their front foot and Bring the hands together and strike towards the back of the neck. When you're practicing training, please don't strike your partner. Okay, you finish up in the L stance as well. Hands come up together, feet come up slightly, body rises, and we pull down and away. Okay, good, thank you. And for number three, yeah. so the attack continued again. Three, full on, walking stance, full punching. Okay, so this time we're gonna go back again, left leg, we're gonna go back into L stance again. Okay, so we're going to bring our right arm up to the side of the head. The left arm comes up as a bit of a protection, if you will. Okay, so as we step back here, 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 twist it through. See how it comes through from here? And eventually, just as we are about to make contact with the arm that's coming here, bang. Okay, don't go too far. Don't chase the arm. Now you're exposing this. Here, one, two, three, pull back. Lean back on that back foot. Front foot's coming up slightly. Okay. Here, up, bring the hands together, and down. Bring the back of the knuckles 
towards the top of the nose, okay? So it looks like this on the side, going back, there's a one block, block one, block two, block three, hands together, rise up, and drop down. Okay, good. Chariots. Number four, okay. number four, like number two, goes back in L stance, in a forearm block across the body. So exactly the same, one, two, three. Again, we move the rear foot, but this time we place the hand from the hip and place it in towards where the kidneys are, okay? The rear of the back here, okay? So we leave this hand up again, here, in contact with our, our attacker, partner, okay? This is a measure so that we don't actually punch into our partner, okay? From here, bring this hand back up, back up, back to the hip. From here, one, two, striking towards the vulnerable part of the body, the kidneys, okay? So a little bit faster, so one, Two, three, round, tight! Switching stance. Away you go. Chariots. So, number five. Number five. This time we're switching back to the right leg back first. Again, staying in L stance, however. Okay? L stance. Bringing the hands up. This is going to use the outer part of the forearm for the block. The outer part. So, because of that, it comes on the inside. You may have noticed everything else went on the outside. Okay? Now... Except for this one, of course, where we sort of don't use the two hands together, although this one is being used. And those of you who have already spoken to about this know exactly what you're doing with this hand. Okay, but for beginners, this time, what you've got to remember is that we're going to come in here, bring the, the blocking arm, which will be the left in this case, on the inside. We've gone through this slightly before, but I just want to just clarify everything with you. We're going to go back in L stance, so we're going to go back one L stance, this block. Okay, so you can see my hand is there, just going to close it, outer part of the arm. One, two, watch my feet. Three, into sitting stance. The block is the same, but I don't go all the way back. So once again, inside, one, inside, two. Block becomes the same, so bring the hands up, bring them together utilize this hand that's in front here bring that one against the opponent's arm slip and strike the strike can go depends on the size of the person towards the face the head side of the jawline obviously don't punch your partner it's their turn next as they say or straight into the body wherever is more convenient for you wherever you feel that the strike needs to go for you okay practice those fundamental ones they're the basic three they are, as I said before, like, like studying the language, A, B, C, okay? Gradually, slowly, the step sparring adds grammar, sentences, syntax, all that sort of stuff as you move along. So they are vital, just like line work. People stopping to do line work. It's fundamental stuff. Please, please, please practice your line work, yeah? Practice that because that sort of stuff there will help you it will help you as you progress okay slowly progressing through the stages that's why they are there okay chariots in the a moving on to the uh, advanced advanced three step okay basically just bringing the kicks into the, into the uh, the process okay so the attack is exactly the same as it was for the basic which is the lunge punch okay so from the walking, L stance, at walking stance, low section guarding block, if you will. Okay, here, a low block, forward, punching. Simple, three, one, two, three. Okay, so this one, the first one of these, this season, this series, is very similar to the last one that we did of the basic. So we go back, and this time just use a knife hand. One, L stance. Two, L stance, watch the feet. L stance, so instead of a punch, uh, closed fist block, we're just open, okay? So strike towards the neck area, okay? Uh, the next one is going back. We're going to start utilizing the kicks. So we go back, okay? L stance, outer. One, two, off at 45 degrees. Keep the hands closed in a guard, in a guard. From snap kick, punch, punch. So basically, low section, well not low section, rather midsection, but snap kick, boom, boom, 
finish off. Okay? Moving on to the next one. So this again, we're going back. Knife hand, one. Knife hand, two. Off to the side. Close your fists now. Close your fists into a guard. Okay? Midsection side kick. One in L stance, knife hand strike. So the idea there is that you've brought the, head, the, the body down with the kick, okay, not push them away. So rather than being a pushing kick, so rather than being a flat of the foot, try and angle that foot. We've talked about this before. Try and get it to be a, a sword edge and then the knife hand strike, okay. So hopefully bringing in and then the strike, okay. Moving on to the next one. So you've had, there you've had one, two, and an up, shuffle off. Now we're going to do three all the way back, and then we're going to use the palm pushing block. Okay, so we'll go back, palm pushing block across the body. Don't go too far. One, just enough to intercept it. Two, again, just intercept it. Three, all the way back. Three steps, slide that left front foot out. Okay, the body's here. Turning kick in, X stance. Okay, so a little bit quicker. So one, Two, three, slide out, kick, bang, back of the head. Okay, the last one. This is the one that most, most of you are finding difficult. Okay, going back, knife hand, single knife hand guard. One, single knife hand block. One, two, out the side again. Now we bring the guarding block in. Okay, round, back kick, control, ridge hand. Okay, so a little bit faster. One, two, three, kick, reach hand. Should have finished them off. 